Hey, hey you guys, Mr. Rudy here. Welcome to another video. Yes, yes, welcome. Alright, so this video I have decided to do Bantu knots. I have never done Bantu knots before, at least not on my channel that I can remember. Yeah, so now that my hair is texturized, I figured I would test to see how the Bantu knots come out on my hair. And so let's just get into the things that I'm going to use in this video today. So the moisturizer or cream that I'm going to be using is this. I am using this because I'm sick and tired of seeing it in my my stash and I'm just want to use this up. It's just sitting there and wasting away. Um, this kind of has a little hole to it so I kind of like it a lot. Um, the other thing is I got this. This is my first custard that I ever got in gel. Like I have gels and stuff, but I wanted to try custard. So this is the Cantu Shea Butter Nat for Natural Hair Defining Shine Custard. So I'm excited about this. I hopefully I will get some good hold with this. And um, it's very stretchy. I have aloe vera juice for when my hair dries out. And then I have water if, I, if I'm not loving the smell of this, which I really don't, but I'm still going to use it up because I bought it. And then I have Jamaican black castor oil. And um, the tool, I have the Golden Hot um, Blow Dryer Soft Cap. Soft Cap. So I am going to use that to dry my hair so I'm not sitting um, overnight with bantu knots trying to sleep with bantu knots in my head so yeah first thing first is I have section off my hair kind of like how I want to wear it so I kind of want to wear my hair half up half down so I am basically just gonna section off my hair So I'm going to take this section, I'm going to put some conditioner on it, not much, just a little bit. Then I'm going to take the custard and rub it in. I don't know how much to use, so I'm just guessing on this. So I'm basically going to just twist my hair, I guess, like this. I don't know, I've never done this before. So, um, okay, so I have twisted this crap. And I'm trying to put it in a bantu knot. Okay, so I finally did it. I put in a made a bantu knot. I'm gonna put the rubber band around the base so it holds in place. Okay, so I made the first one really small, but I don't think I'm gonna make them that small. So I took a bigger section, one squirt of the aloe vera juice. Okay, I'm gonna take the lock it and seal cream, not too much. So, all right, so I have this here. Now I have a bigger section and I'm simply just going to twist my hair. So, I've done my edges. I'm going to split my hair into three sections. And then I'm going to do three bantu knots in the ponytail. Okay, so I have put three bantu knots for the ponytail, and then I have all of these bantu knots in the back. So I'm gonna sit under the dryer for however long this takes to dry.
okay it is the next day and I have set on the dryer I have slept in this and I feel at the root because I took this one out and I kind of took this one out yesterday to see if it was done but it was clearly not dry I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and take these all out and then when I take them out I'm gonna sit under the dryer and let my hair dry the rest of the way because um, the outer layer of the Bantu knot is preventing the inner layer from drying all the way. Okay, so I have taken it out. Now I'm going to sit it under the dryer. The curls are looking okay for right now. I don't know how they're going to look um, when it like fully dries, but we'll see what we can do. So I'm going to sit under the dryer for probably like another hour and see if this will freaking dry because this is like ridiculous. Really ridiculous. Alright, so I'm back after sitting on the dryer for like the 18th time. Um, it is dry now. So I'm going to go ahead and start separating my hair. Um, and seeing what kind of curl I get with the separation. Never done this before. So I'm just going to spray the ends. Okay, I can kind of see some flakes in my hair. And I don't know if it's because of the gel that I use. Okay, so I have taken this all out. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. It came out so cute. I never had curls like this before. And so it's really, really cute. And it has some good length to it. I didn't think I would have as much length um, as I do have with it and that is really cute let me show you the back now I do have to take out all these parts that I have in my hair so I have a lot of parts but the majority of the hair is looking good um, again I said I do have a little bit of flakes in my hair um, and yeah, so I have to deal with that fact, but the curls are to die for. I had 14 bed two knots in my hair in all, and so this is what 14 would look like. All right, you guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully this video was fun and helpful for those who have never tried it before. I highly recommend that you try it on your hair. Um, it turned out great. Um, the curls are really, really nice. Alright, so I will see you beautiful people later. Peace and love.